Your success is habits, my guy. Your goals don't count until they're hard. And you love difficult things. Amir, what's up, my man? Nothing much. How are you? Good, man. Ready to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just wanted to uh, stop in really quickly and uh, thank you for your investment into me. Um, you know, you and I, we, we've spoken on here before, and uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I am set to graduate May 17th this year from college, my undergraduate degree. It's on the way. Um, and I got a few other pots cooking as far as grad school and uh, everything else that comes post-graduation. You know, I'm, I'm getting my feet wet and starting life, and I'm re really excited. Cool, man. May 20th is my birthday, so. Oh, yeah, I'll be sure to tell you happy birthday by that time. Cool, cool. But excited, man. So how can I help? What do you got? So the fourth quarter is always the toughest. And um, being as though that this is my last semester in undergrad, you know, this is my fourth quarter. So uh, my question to you, mentally, right, mentally, what, would, what should be the correct approach towards executing uh, all of my personal goals for the semester, which those are simple. Obviously, pass all courses, do all the uh, necessary requirements to meet um, for graduation. But so life happens in between. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of, like, personal, a lot of personal uh, things have happened for me. I won't speak on about here. But so just dealing with that, dealing with everything that goes on outside of your goals, outside of your passion, outside of your dreams, what's your mental approach to, staying laser focused on your goals and seeing it all the way through. What are you worried about? What do you think is going to throw you off course? Well, um, just, just life in general, you know, outside of school, you know, people go through things, people work. Uh, maybe if you have a, if you're married. So um, I have a girlfriend and similar to what you might go through at home with your, with your family or whatever you're going on with in your personal life, that might kind of deter you from the course if you allow for it to. And, like with the more responsibilities that you get as a young adult, it could be harder to find that balance and you'll lose focus. So to me, if that happens with me, I feel like my approach wasn't the way that it should have been. You know what I mean? So like what, what's your mental approach as far as how you deal with your life outside of your work, your passion, all of that, how do you maintain and, and stay the course? So especially that this is your last year, it's easy to, to, take the eye off the ball and start thinking about what's next and not executing what's in front of you. And you might be, you might be getting a little tired. You know, it's already been three years of this. It's another year, the same thing coming in. It's your success is habits, my guy. It's the habits. So the life that you want comes down to the habits that you're doing daily. So whatever balance looks like for you, in terms of schoolwork, relationships, friendships, whatever, whatever balance looks like for you, it's going to come down to what's in your calendar and staying vigilant on your calendar. So, you know, today's a great example. Today's Sunday. So what you should do on a Sunday is look at your next week. Like plan out the next week between tomorrow morning until next Sunday, what's going to happen from schoolwork, from anything you have with your job, your, your family, your friends, whatever you need to get done, make a calendar. And then you look at that calendar and you say, if I did those things this week, would I have success? Like, would I be moving closer to my goals if I did these things this week? Right? You know, for me, I'm here in Whistler right now. I just came in. I'm speaking at um, Ed Milet's event. He invited me. Uh, super, super gracious. I moved my tour start date to be here because I wanna, I wanna give back and help Ed for all the help he's given me. And so, you know, if I put that in my calendar, that's, that's a win, that's helping me move closer to my goals. So look at your calendar for the next week. And then it's about actually executing and doing it because stuff's gonna happen, get in the way. Mm -hmm. Like there's no flight here to Whistler. So I rented a Jeep and drove two hours from Vancouver to get here. And there's like snow outs and no lights on the street and accidents all over the place and like snow everywhere, right? But that's when, that's when you decide, like th that's a really important moment. When life throws a curveball at you like that, hits you in the face and it happens. What you do really matters. So I'm not gonna turn around and go back home. I'm gonna get 
to Whistler. I'm going to make it happen. And it doesn't count. Like your goals don't count until they're hard. So you set your calendar and life's going to throw some curveballs at you and going to punch you in the face. But your goals don't count until they're hard. And so that becomes the identity shaping moments for you. That when it gets difficult, when something happens to say, this is my chance to show myself and the world what I'm made of. And so you expect it, like expect difficulties to come and you love difficult things. So when it comes to you, you don't sit there and complain and get upset and say, why me? And why now? And I can't handle this. Like you were born for this. You love the challenges. You were created in adversity. And you're going to finish this year off strong and make yourself proud to show yourself what you're capable of. How's that? For sure. For sure, man. Thank you. I needed that. That's the constant voice that should be in your head. Like when things get tough, you tell you, this is my chance. Mm -hmm. As soon as something gets tough, this is my chance. This is my opportunity to show myself what I'm made of. Gotcha. That's it, my guy. Good luck. We're cheering you on. May 17th, big day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You celebrate your graduation and then coming. three years. I love it, dude. I love it. Thank you for the love, man. We're all, we're, we're all cheering you on. Close strong, dude. Close strong. Thanks. Much love. If you have a podcast or interview show and want me to be a guest on it, I have two options for you. There's a link right there next to me. Go click it, and I look forward to being a guest on your show.